Hello, and welcome to this month's video vlog. This time it's gonna be a little bit different. We're actually on site, and uh, I'm gonna be demonstrating an internal Retroline installation. With this particular product, uh, it's gonna be uh, freeze protecting a well. On the wall here, this vertical pipe is the main feed that is coming into the building. Over here is where the uh, plumbing is connected to everything inside of this uh, building. We're gonna demonstrate an installation and we're, I'm also gonna show you a quick thing on this particular Retroline system. So it's a short, it's a short length, um, it's a 30 footer. With the T configuration, we actually have it in a 90 degree to water format. The standard configuration normally has the electrical connection coming off the branch, which provides us with a straight through water flow. The 90 degree to water, we have the electrical connection coming off the side of the T, giving us a 90 degree water flow, kind of acts as an elbow. In this configuration, as you can see, since we have the pipe coming up out of the floor and we need a transition over to our plumbing work, the 90 degree connection makes the most sense. So as it fits into place, we now then have the ability to easily make a connection by keeping that configuration uh, neat and clean alongside the wall. So one of the things you're gonna notice is I've already have the nut and the insert O-ring and the collet already been press fitted into the pipe. Um, normally you would have this on the retro line through the installation process, you would just fit it. Um, uh, in this case, we're just gonna demonstrate it with these components already uh, set into the pipe. So moving forward, I am now gonna make the installation of this retro line into the well pipe. All right, there we go. So as you can see, we have now installed the retro line into the well pipe, but we actually have a situation where the heating cable is longer than the length of the pipe. The heating cable is bottoming on the pitless adapter at the well. Now we don't wanna force that heating cable. We don't wanna to try to get it to go down the pitless adapter as that will uh, damage the heating cable system. So when we run into a case where the heating cable is too long, we can easily make an adjustment. And we're gonna end up demonstrating that to you here in the next following steps. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to fit this T to our pipe. But as you can see, we're not able to move the heating cable any further. We're gonna remove the nut that compresses our sealing gland that is against the heating cable. By removing this nut, and we'll just slide it down the cord to get it out of the way, will allow the rubber grommet to disengage from the T, allowing me to now come down and fit the T into place. Pressing it into the O-ring, and then allowing me to fit that T to the pipe. Now that we have the T connected to the pipe, we're gonna to need to regain our seal for the heating cable. With the nut removed and the grommet now um, without compression against the heating cable, I can easily slide that grommet down on the cable. So that way I can make my connection again to the T. I'm going to bring the nut, tighten that into the pipe, and moving forward, you'll want to follow the instructions that are necessary to put proper compression back to the rubber grommet. But what you will see here is we now have adjusted the length of the heating cable inside the pipe. The heating cable is right near the pitless adapter at the well, which is where we want it to be. This extra remaining heating cable is perfectly safe to be operated inside the building and leaving this exposed. What I'm gonna show next is the final assembly 
into the plumbing system. So as you can now see, we have regained our plumbing connections. So we have our well pipe coming vertically up through the floor, the Retroline T connection in its 90 degree format, giving me a 90 degree water flow into this short run of horizontal pipe before it elbows and connects into the main plumbing system inside the building. Now at this time, I have not actually taken a channel lock to tighten these nuts, but all I need at this point in time is to tighten these nuts and uh, set the rubber grommet compression and the system is ready to be repressurized and is ready for operation this winter. I hope you found this video vlog helpful. We will continue to release a video every month, so be sure to check out our social media pages. Thank you for watching.